In this short tutorial, we'll walk through how to extract assets from any scene and add them to Forest Pack's library for easy reuse in other projects. These assets could come from your own projects, a colleague's work, or even commercial scenes you've downloaded. So locate the objects you want to save. Forest Pack generates thumbnails using viewport screenshots. So if your objects are a proxy, they may display as boxes. To fix that, either change the proxy objects manually or batch process by selecting them all, then open the Max Script Listener and run $display equals 4. With your assets still selected, open the Forest Pack Library browser. Go to the User Library section. If you don't have a custom user library path just yet, add one by going to File Preferences and update the library's path list. This should be pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go into it in detail here. Right-click on your user folder and select Create Library. Right-click on the new library and give it a meaningful name. Right-click inside the empty item display area and choose Import Objects from Scene. A dialog will open and you can generally leave most of these settings at their defaults. In this example though, I'll just increase the thumbnail resolution slightly. And then finally, click Import. Once the process completes, a status window will confirm how many new items were added to the library and how many assets like proxies, textures, etc. were copied to the library folder. That is it. Your assets are now part of Forest Pack's library and ready to be used in any scene without extra setup. Keep an eye out for more tutorials coming soon where we'll share practical tips and workflows to help you to get the most out of Forest Pack.